This is why we can't have nice things. There she goes. <laughs> yeah. Let me just fix this really quick. John hates when that door is closed. He always wants me to remember to prop it open so that there's sufficient airflow between the two rooms. And every time I come back there, it's closed and I know how much he likes me to keep it open. So I figured I'd just prop it open for him so he doesn't get mad. Dudes group, 7 p.m. at my house tonight. Ask your friend where I live. You ever been to the park and seen a wacky old guy throw bread out? I think one of your buttons is a little bit undone. Oh man! This was like the one day not to do it. Mm-hmm. You just gotta pick and choose the right days. Stop! Like stop! Like. He waited very patiently. Gosh, I was even thinking on the way over, like, this would be the one day I wouldn't want him to do it. I'd be mad. I don't know, I saw you on Instagram in an outfit that everybody loved. Yeah. Uh, no, I was pretty bumped about that one. What did somebody say? Uh, like, you're perp? Yeah, perp. <laughs> That's always the goal. Alright, well, the sandwich punch gives and the sandwich punch takes away. I will say that was within the rules as much as I hate it. <laughs> Okay, this is what happens. I get a pizza that's just soggy, saucy bread. So, how long did you wait for that pizza? I waited virtually all of my lunch period to get this pizza because they ran out. How's it taste? Disappointing. Because it's just bread. Yeah, but this one's going to be super good. Because everything that was on this is now in there. How's your day going, Mr. P? I'd give us a 3 out of 10 at this point. It was a 9. Just what happened? Like literally through the last 45 seconds. To Dude, what happened? It was, it was doing so good. And you I got sandwich punch, Dan. What does that mean? You know, I don't really want to tell you actually because I don't necessarily want to see you. You're, you're, the, one, you're the one that can't know. What you you and Dez know. cannot know. I need to know. Nope. Is it like when you nope. put a sandwich up to your face and go... <laughs> <laughs> that's why you can't know. Because that's what you thought it was. That's not what it is. Sandwich punch. Oh! It's like sandwich... No. Oh. Do you think he got sandwich punch like that today? I don't know. Do you think know. that happened to him? You never know. Yeah, naturally. Damn. Okay, Ray, if you do it this one time, I'll put it in the blog. It's been doing this for like 15 minutes now. Hey, Dan. I'm really sorry I punched your pizza. I don't want to talk about it. I do. <laughs> this pizza got punched. <laughs> Bow! <laughs> Actually, it was more like. Yeah, I made sure I gave it more than one. You do gotta. If you're gonna do the one punch, you gotta make sure. Yeah. Like it's just like a, a smush. Yeah. <laughs> or yeah, that where you punch and hold like. All right. As some people know, I was in the choir, the men's choir at Azusa Pacific University for all four years of my time in college. Now, you might have taken note that I said the men's choir. It was all guys, and they were about 80, give or take, depending on the year. Now, at the end of each year, we would go on tour for about two weeks. So this is like 14 days, 80-ish guys, and our, let me, our director was like, uh, how to explain it? Uh, he was a boys will be boys kind of director, <laughs> so. So he was like, we'd be like, hey, you know, so-and-so like climbed out of their third story hotel room window and fell into like a, banana cream pie he'd go ah those are the boys he'd be like no no no, no. like that's that shouldn't happen so that's the environment uh one year my junior year all of a sudden there was a, a a day where someone was eating this sandwich and and someone next to them was feeling particularly uh in the zone i guess of being goofy and loopy and crazy so what they decided to do out of the blue was just punch that person's sandwich Whatever reason they had, they just looked at the sandwich and decided, I'm gonna punch it. In that moment, a legend was born. And this legend is the sport slash lifestyle <laughs> of sandwich punching. <laughs> now, suddenly when the, the sandwich was punched, the other guy realized, you know, I need to punch your food back. 
So then he punched the guy's food. But it wasn't a sandwich. I don't remember what it was, but it wasn't a sandwich. And we all realized in that moment, like, that one was some, somehow less okay <laughs> than it was to punch the sandwich. So we established rules, and these rules guided us in the darkness. It shed some light on this path so we could walk it. Sandwich punching is uh, made up of the following rules. One, <clears throat> you can only punch it if it's a sandwich. A sandwich is defined as some substance in between two pieces of bread, which is simple enough. So bread, bread, things in between. You can punch it. Two, your sandwich has to be put down. You have to place it down. It has to be like on the table. It has to be at rest. You can't be holding it. Because then you'd be eating it and someone would be like, punch! And go, no one wants that. Damn Meryl. <laughs> so true. So you have to punch it if it's on the table. Uh, three, it has to be out of whatever bag or anything that it was in. That's another rule right there. Uh, all the way out? Like 100% out? All the way out. Has to be out. Any other rules that I haven't... How'd you, wait, do you have to... Can you <laughs> abstain from being a part of the game? No. Wait, what do you mean? Once you've heard about it, you're included. You so if get, you ever have a sandwich, it's this is punchable. Like saying, this is like saying, can I abstain from the rules of gravity? Like It's just a scientific law. Gravity affects you whether you want it to or not. So you're going to... So, so you're going to... You're gonna punch Todd Glazer's sandwich. You're you can punch Todd Glazer's sandwich. If you make that judgment call, and if that person is someone that you want to punch their food, yeah, you're gonna punch Look, your food. Listen to me, cat. <laughs> We're not in a place where you can just touch my food with your hands. If you touch my food with your hands, there was a line for gas, a line to get in the store, a line to pay, and now there's just a line to leave. I didn't even sign that paper. When did you give it? How's your meat cookie? Maybe we can call it below, but everyone can bring it. That's not my name. Hey, nicknames are great idea. I don't want to brag, but I'm the official. How's your wedding planning? It's great. It's going to be a summer wedding. Hey, Mom. 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 Excuse me, oh, sir. I guess it doesn't matter. They all have I would appreciate if you look no longer while you're tailing me <laughs> this back can you, ahead. Can you mention Javelin with this Please? thing? Please. How lame you. that would be. And the more you talk to him, the more excited he gets. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> 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 it's less accurate than this. Oh, the RPG.